What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. Um, in this video, we are going to learn how to create color fields and schedules. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to create a space color field plan using the lighting levels that we specified in the previous exercise. So space color fields can be used with any parameter that exists for the space components. So later in this exercise, we're going to create a space lighting analysis schedule to aid in the layout of your lighting design. So the schedule includes a calculated lighting delta value, which is the difference between the required and the calculated illuminance values. Okay, so last video, we have learned how to define required lighting. So now we're going to create color fields and schedule. Okay, so let's create a color fill legend scheme okay so to do that so i'm going to select um architecture let's go to architecture look for the room and area and then let's select here color scheme just click that and then and the <clears throat> on the edit color scheme so i'm going to select the space here okay and then i'm going to select uh, duplicate okay so just duplicate that and then just specify the name here so let's say I'm gonna type here required lighting and then just select OK there you go and then we can specify this scheme definition title here so I'm gonna put here required lighting level and then for the color, I'm going to select here required lighting level. Okay, and oh, the spelling is wrong. Anyway, so just select OK. So if you see this color is not preserved dialog box, just select OK. So our required there is wrong spelling. So we can edit that later on. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, range here so instead of value so I'm going to select by range so I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to select 20 FC or foot candle so that is the unit for uh, luminance so I'm going to select that so I'm going to select this icon here add value so this command adds a new value based on the split value of the unit you are adding the new value after so for example like this one if we select the 20 foot candle and click add then the new value will be 40 foot candle so if you select the value for uh, 20 FC again and click add again so the new value will be 30 FC or half of the difference between the two with uh, between the two values that we are adding okay now so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to select um, 40 FC and then I'm going to select add value so it will create here 50 FC now another way to edit the value of your range here is by uh, selecting or changing the value here so let's say I click the 50 FC so I'm gonna type here 75 so I press enter there you go so as you can see less than here also change okay so it becomes 45 as well right and now and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to select 40 FC and let's say I'm gonna type here 50 enter and there you go so it's now changed to 20 FC, at least 20 FC, less than 20, uh, less than 30, 30, 50, and 50, 75, and then 75 blank. And then this is the caption values, visible, the colors you can modify, as well as the fill pattern. Okay? So anyway, so right after you create your color scheme, so just select your OK. 
Okay, and then what we are going to do is we are going to add a legend and we are going to apply the color scheme that we have created. So let's change our view first. So right now we are on level 1 lighting plan. So I'm going to expand my views here and then look for the design. Look for the lighting design. So I want to go to level 2 uh, lighting CF. So I'm going to open this one. Just double click. And then we are now going to add here the color fill legend. All right. Okay. So let's put here. So to do that, let's go to the annotate tab and then look for the color fill. Click that one and then just place it here just beside. And then on the dialog box, so make sure the space type that you will be selecting is spaces. But the color scheme that we will be using is the one that we have created, which is the required lighting. So just select that one and then just select OK. And let's just wait. Calculating. All right. And there you go. So the color field plan displays the required illuminance levels based on the key values previously created. Okay. So see that one? So this is the one that we have created a while ago. Now, we are going to create a space lighting analysis schedule next. So to do that, so I'm going to create a schedule here. Just right-click the schedules from your project browser and then select new schedule quantities. Just click that one. And then from the category here, let's click one category and type S for spaces. We're going to use spaces. And then for the name here, I'm going to type here space lighting analysis. Oops. Analysis. All right. And then just select here. Okay. Okay. Now on the schedule properties. So for the available fields, I want to include here the number. Where's the number? Double click the number. Double click name. What else? Uh, double click the level. And of course, the average estimated illumination. And then the required lighting level. Where is that? Required lighting level. Let's double click that one. And then the next thing that we're going to do is let's add a calculated value. Okay, so I'm going to select calculated parameter here. Add calculated parameter. Just click that one. And then for the name here, so I'm going to name this Lighting Delta. Okay, so I want to do a formula. And then, of course, the discipline will going to be electrical. And then the type here is uh, Illuminance. Okay, and then um, I'm going to select here this browse icon or this ellipsis button just click that one and then from the fields dialog box so i want to select here the average estimated illumination so i'm going to select that one because i want to put a formula here and then the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to press space bar and then hyphen that is minus sign so average estimated illumination minus click again the ellipsis button and then I'm going to select the required lighting level. Just select that one. And then just select your OK. And then just select OK again. And there you go. So there's now your calculated uh, parameter. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sort it. So I'm going to select sorting and grouping. So I'm going to sort it by level here. So I'm going to select level. I want to put a header. And then I want to put also a blank line here. Okay. And then on the format, formatting for the fields here, I'm going to select the lighting delta. And then there is this conditional format here. So just click that one. And then on the condition, uh, lighting delta for the test, I'm going to select here, not between. Okay, and then the value here is minus 5 FC and then uh, 5 FC. Oops, so 
Okay? <clears throat> so, lighting de delta should be not between minus FC and 5 FC. And then, I want to change the color background here. So, I want to see that reflecting on my schedule. So I select red. And then, this is actually the conditions to use. So, the lighting delta should be minus FC. Okay? It should be less than minus FC but greater than uh, 5 FC. Okay? Again, lighting level should be less than minus 5 but greater than 5 FC. Okay? So, let's do this one. So, basically, it's in between 5 FC and minus 5 FC. So, I'm going to select here OK. Right? And then I'm going to select here OK again. And let's see what will happen on our schedule. There you go. Okay. So there is now our uh, value there. So the lighting delta values that are not within the conditional value of minus 5 FC and 5 FC are highlighted in the red. Okay. So this is already out of the range. So it's uh, more than 5 FC, more than 5 FC. So that's why it's red. So this is less than 5 FC, but not more than 5 F minus 5 FC. Okay, so there you go. So the lighting delta values that are not within the conditional value of minus 5 FC and 5 FC are highlighted in red. Okay, so this is a very important uh, knowledge that you need to know when doing your uh, electrical system design. Okay? So, on our next video, what we are going to discuss is we're going to start to design an electrical system because for this exercise that we are doing, the past three videos, including this video, is only for planning an electrical system. So, on our next video, we are going to learn how to design an electrical system. Alright? So thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.